first section of that drive and then we'll meet him again in the Wild West. Stopped at a rest area here in Illinois, right before St. Louis. Not about 800 miles since yesterday afternoon. Yeah, we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma on day three. Raining like uh, the dog here. I feel sorry for that poor bike guy in front of me here. Well, there goes the Mercedes. They were sure looking at these new Jaguars. We're in Amarillo, Texas where they do everything bigger. We're at the Big Texan Steakhouse where they have a 72 ounce steak, where if you can eat it within an hour, it's free. Well, you join us on the road just outside Amarillo, Texas. We're in the heart of America's Wild West. And uh, Dave Vasconi in his big orange truck carrying that uh, shipment of Jaguars is well on its way to Los Angeles, California. Arizona, here we come. It's 108 degrees out. This is the desert. It is hot out here. You'll have dust storms out here. It'll sandblast the paint right off your hood of your truck. Well, finally, we've made it to Los Angeles, California. Jay's car has made it not quite to his home yet. It's arrived here at Galpin Jaguar, one of the big dealers in LA. And this is where the car is going to be prepared, ready to hand over to Jay in just a few days' time. Easy does it. There we go. Well, that's everything I expected it to be. It looks great. Uh, I'm not, uh, usually I don't really order new cars with different specs. I'm the guy that usually buys my cars secondhand, so getting a brand new car is pretty exciting. See, what I save on clothing, I, I put into the cars. I'm gonna take it back to the shop now. We'll take it for a ride and we'll see how it goes. Well, the car will never be newer than it is right now. You know, it's very exciting, but then you realize this is as good as it's going to look. You, you just wait for that first scratch. Hopefully, it'll never come, but it, but it always does. I'm a great fan of little English details like this. You know, my favorite thing on the early rolls and Bentleys were these huge, uh, well, you sort of look like a Spitfire or something on here. Uh, they're, they're quite clever, these Jaguar people. Everything that you touch has a nice feel, a nice touch to it. Zero to 60, I don't know, is it four seconds, something like that? I mean, you got 470 horsepower, and it's supercharged. Uh, those are supercar specs from not that long ago. See how she corners? Well, that's pretty good. Knock the cameraman over. That's not bad, with no squeal. Well, we're just coming off the freeway now. We're going back to my uh, garage, and we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll strip this thing down. Jaguar collection is complete.